And then you guys can also do some legless while you cook. Oh. oh. Little side crunches. Ah, here she is. Hey, hey. Oh. What's up, huh? <laughs> Um. So while I type and tell people what's happening, do you Hi. want to introduce yourself? Yes. So what's up, y'all? My name is Katie Austin. I am a sports host and a fitness trainer. And today we are making healthy vegetarian tacos using sweet potatoes, kale, avocado, and it's going to be super yummy because it's not only Cinco de Mayo, but it's Taco Tuesday. And um, I'm really excited. So everyone on my page, this is Jeremy up top. He runs Hi. Lunch Boys and he does amazing recipes and um, cooking videos. And then you have a podcast. And so, yeah. Thanks Sorry. for joining us today, everyone. Oh, more soccer part of me talking. Ah, there we go. Yes. So if you guys want to cook along, this isn't a recipe either one of us really came up with. But I found a good one. Uh, bon Appetit. Always amazing recipes. Yeah. Want to call along. It's called their... Uh, green tacos, Ooh. and uh, yeah, they're healthy and fun. Whoa. Matt, okay, I'm ready. You ready? All right, this will be interesting. So we are going to start with <laughs> sweet potatoes. So step number one is that you're supposed to peel them uh, and grate them. I don't have a peeler, <laughs> so Sorry. I'm already I'm already behind step number one, but. It's gonna use a little sharp knife and just go for it. If you guys have questions, ask away, have fun. That's a point of this thing. Like, like we are here for you guys. If we didn't want to talk to you, we wouldn't be doing live. That's the fun part. Yes. All right. So once I peel this, how are you just gonna leave the skin on then? No. So I'm peeling. I'm cutting all the skin off. Oh, you're cutting it off. Well, improvise, baby. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying not to slice anything off. Yeah, please don't. All right, so I just killed my sweet potato here. All right, well, then you're steps ahead of me, so I'm just going to cheat a lot of it off. Um, do you normally cook healthy? Um, I am the type of girl that loves really, really bad food, and so I try to make really bad food healthier. Um, that's I've cooked like that since I was little, basically, how can I make a burger and french fries healthier? Or how can I make pizza healthier? Like my favorite things, because I actually do love bad food and like fast food. And so I try to cook healthier because, um, and make like my favorite things a little bit cleaner, if you know what I mean. I honestly try, and people ask me all the time, like how, um, uh, how I stay healthy. And I'm like, I kind of like the balance of like, I will, let myself be selfish and then I will eat very healthy, you know? Yeah, I feel you. I um, I need to eat healthier in quarantine, that's for sure. Well, my workouts have been screwed. I know you work out every single second <laughs> <laughs> live for the world. Yeah, Are you working out more now? All right, so I'm chopping up these sweet potatoes now? Uh, great then. Great then. Oh, uh, I did this. I cut them really small. Okay, I'm gonna grate. If you cut them small, we're just gonna wing it. Whatever. That's, that's okay, we're gonna wing it. I'm gonna cut them really tiny to small pieces, like dice them really small. Cut them tiny. I'm gonna grate. <laughs> My cook a little differently for Because I kind of like the, um, like I like something. Sounds weird, but like meatier in tacos. Like if, I feel like if we were to grate the tacos and then put kale in them, like where's like the meat per se? That's how I, I don't know why I always feel like right. I like cook like cauliflower tacos. I leave them as big florets because I like eating. I don't like eating something mushy instead of taco like that. Mm. Has the meat, okay. You know? Does that make any sense? Yeah. Katie, can you turn down your Computer? I feel like I hear my the computer. Oh, I'm. You're completely muted on my computer. Hmm. I can turn down this volume now on, on my phone. Hey, I hear the shredding, which is next to the mic. That's what confused me. That's I better. Oh, whatever you just did, you can still hear me? 
Yeah. Oh, that fixed this because I was hearing it in my head. It's like I've worn earrings before where I was getting like, um, I can hear myself. I just do a whole live video for Grow Up and Seamless where they put the, the earrings in my ear so I could talk to like the director and stuff. But instead, all I heard myself was two seconds later. So for an hour live, and I think it was live, so I couldn't like be mad at this culture because who cares? It's my life. That's so I was like, I was too nervous to say anything. So I was like, I'll just. Listen to myself talk. So I was like interviewing chefs and only hearing myself ask a question five seconds. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's very distracting. All right, after I chop the sweet potatoes, what do I do? All right, so <laughs> we'll see how this cooks. The idea of shredding it is just going to cook faster. Like when I cook sweet potatoes, when I cook, I usually use Japanese sweet potatoes because well, you have ever had them? Say what? You ever had Japanese sweet potatoes? No. The Japanese sweet potatoes are texture-wise a little um, a little more starchy. Um, they're a little less sweet than they're almost like a cross between a potato and a sweet potato, but they're still in the sweet potato family, so they're much more healthy for you. So I make those all the time. So I always cube them and roast them, and I just eat them as snacks. Um, but okay. So what we're gonna do is we are going to. Uh, Cook our sweet potato. So I have an electric skillet. Whatever you got, pan, whatever. Let's get cooking. All right, should I bake mine? <laughs> sure, bake them. <laughs> I don't have what you have. Whatever you got, let's use. I usually just bake my sweet potato because it's like the easiest, the easiest just to put on a cookie sheet and then roll right. olive oil. Then bake them. I don't know how long it's going to take, but we'll get close. And if you don't get close enough, it's okay. I think they're pretty finely chopped. I think they'll be good. All right, that's okay. You're the one that has to eat it. So if they're a little raw, that's on you. <laughs> uh, also, what I'm going to do is, uh, I forgot. I have to, um, garlic. I'm going to chop it up very thin. Okay, perfect. Um, you put it on the sweet potato? Yes. <laughs> okay. Should I take a garlic press? Oh, you're fancy. Oh, we're fancy. Okay, cool. <laughs> I am trying not to chop my fingers off. I'm getting better. This is what, so even though like I, listen, I've been around food my entire life. I've produced a million food TV shows. I obviously have a bunch of those by Food Channel. I like cooking, but I just don't cook a lot just because the stuff that I usually cook pre-quarantine is all healthy stuff. So I ate the same, I'm, I, I, like, I like eating the same thing every single day. So up until quarantine, five out of seven nights a week, I ate salmon and sweet potato. Breakfast every single day is like an egg white scramble, one egg yolk. Oh, you're like, really healthy. Good for you. Well, because I like to be able to be like, okay, well, I'm going to be at the restaurant three, four times a week. And right. indulge while I'm there, but every other meal has to be healthy. So I don't like take risks. I don't try things because I want to keep my meals so clean. But I'm that quarantine, is, like I'm still trying okay, to be healthy, so but I'm just experimenting. Like a really small half of the soup potato. I'm gonna just put that in the oven and bake yeah. it. Bake it. Let's see what happens. Literally Me. making like one taco. <laughs> <laughs> Me, uh, I have an electric skillet, so what I'm gonna do is I spray, I use coconut oil on everything. Uh, again, just yes. trying to be healthy where I can. Oh, you can. But you're not really trying to add flavor, just I don't want stuff to stick, so it doesn't need butter, doesn't need anything, just spray it down. All right, what next? Um, well, I have a few extra steps that I don't think you have. We're gonna, so mine calls for three reasons. Mine calls for olive oil, sweet potato, garlic, done. Garlic. Kale. So I know you're substituting kale. But for me, I gotta cook the kale. So I'm going to. The kale leaves the kale and throw them into the sweet potato too to cook those off also. Okay. So you maybe, maybe chop some, chop some chop avocados, some so whatever crust size you want. I'm going to slice them pretty thinly. Oh wow, this one's a big boy. <laughs> I wish I could have a margarita with you right now, Jeremy, but I have a workout after this. You know I'd be drinking though. <laughs> I feel that. I'm always shocked by people. I'm shocked by people that can drink half the workout. I'm shocked by people that can drink half the workout. Oh, I can drink any time but before a workout. I can't drink before a workout. I definitely just can't drink before. Uh, by the way, I'd be, it'd actually be really fun. I should do that because it'd be 
wild. We would just have a dance party. It wouldn't be a workout, just be a twerking party. <laughs> There's a place that opens up in your city that is also a bar. So yeah, right afterwards, they serve cocktails. So right afterwards, they serve cocktails. Oh, right up my alley. All one. right, the avocado is looking nice. Oh, yeah, you got a good one. Oh, yeah, you got a good one. All right. All right. California avocados. All I right. Picking my I kale and putting it on the flat top as well to cook it off. Kale, you always want to use way more than you think because it will cook down to absolutely. It's just like all water, I guess. I can't see these. And then you guys can also do some legless while you cook. Oh. Little side crunches. Get those obliques, those outer thighs. <laughs> or you guys can get a water bottle and just do some little bicep curls. Every little thing adds up, Jeremy. <clears throat> Sorry, it's supposed to be nice. uh, I agree. Uh, you, know what I, you know what I started doing is, so I've been, I couldn't find heavy weights anywhere. All I wanted was like heavy dumbbells, like 60, 70 pounds. So what I did was I ordered production sandbags, like for cameras and stuff. Um, those were 65 pounds. Where they're still sort of like awkward to use. Like they're good, I can just like put them on top. That's a good idea though. For legs, I can just like put them on my shoulders and be good. Arms, yeah. I could sort of use them. Chest, I was having an issue because they're just sort of wonky. So someone DM me, they said, put them in a suitcase and press it. <laughs> so I'm in my apartment Love with that. a suitcase on my chest with the sandbags and I'm doing chest pressing. <laughs> hey, you gotta improvise. Love it. Get creative with it. All right. <clears throat> this is happening, coming together. Good idea at the first book out. What temperature did you prefer your food to get that? It's at 375 right now. All right. They're, they're so little. They should come. By the way, y'all, if anyone's watching right now, feel free to write any questions, any healthy eating questions, cooking questions. Um, yes. And, and also, uh, we are using tonight to donate. So, Robin Hood. Uh, I've been speaking a lot on a lot of my videos, a lot about doing for War. War is an organization in New York that is helping raise money for restaurant workers that can't get paid right now and can't really qualify for benefits. So uh, Robin Hood is sort of like their overarching company. Um, so many goes to them, they help poverty in New York City and specifically have raise money for restaurants. So please, any kind of donation is amazing or just search them, help them out, send your info on there. That's awesome. That's really awesome. I know I have so many favorite restaurants in LA and New York City, and I'm just like really, really praying that they're doing okay and that they can reopen after all of this. It's tough. I mean, that's sort of what I've been doing is either, I have like six years worth of content that I could go back to. So I've been ordering in when I can, filming that way, using content I have, even from LA. And yeah. um, I grab salt, I'm gonna salt everything too. And yeah, just kind of doing this, stuff. even some restaurants now, um, I've been cooking with their chef on live, so they've been like <clears throat> helping me get Good idea. Like master classes? Yeah, exactly. Might as well learn something and eat good. Uh, let's see. So great. What I like about cooking is, so to add lime juice too. Cooking, you could kind of screw stuff up and it's fine. Baking, you have to be very scientific, which I don't enjoy. Because look at us, we're like, ah, oh, substitute that, substitute that. We know what we like, we'll make it taste good. Baking, if you're like, oh, I don't like this, probably gonna screw up the entire dish. Uh, so I am adding lime to my sweet potato. Oh, I brought lime. You can add it on at the end. I'm going to add it right now. I'm actually going to add it right now, lime juice. All right, add it right now. Why not? Oh, already a donation award. Thank you, guys. That is absolutely amazing. I really appreciate it. Uh, what's been cool is I've also been able to partner doing this. So this is a new uh, thing on Instagram Live. If you guys haven't done them, that they added the sticker there. Uh, I've also been able to partner with a lot of organizations. I've been out too. I did a whole thing with Jaeger uh, where we were able to raise, well, they specifically donated uh, $10,000 to work, which is really cool. So oh, wow. If any brand to partner with that is an awesome also. Wow, wow. Good for you. I'm getting close. 
<laughs> I don't think your sweet potatoes are doing. They're actually doing good. They're like, okay. they honestly look, because I cut them up so tiny, so they almost look done. Um, what I'm going to do is, so I got, actually wasn't even specifically looking for these tortillas. I was looking for, I like flour tortillas. Yeah, same. I love flour tortillas. These ones are my favorite corn tortillas, though. They're, they're just corn. Um, I forget what brand they are, but they're organic. They're my favorite. What, what kind of brand is this? I don't know. But they're amazing. They're so good. I'm so really not helping anyone right now by saying they're my favorite and not saying the brand. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you can put up in stories later. Someone asked, how do we know each other? So what's funny is this is our first time actually meeting, sort of. Yeah, no, it is. We were supposed to do a taco crawl, first in New York and then in LA, but then we uh, couldn't fly anymore for a certain reason. <laughs> so, yeah, no, we, we were supposed to meet up, I was supposed to be in New York like all of March and that got canceled, um, obviously because of everything. And it's so crazy to think that it's already met. Like it's honestly kind of flown by um, because I feel like I was just supposed to be in New York. I agree. I mean, I was supposed to be in LA for actually, it's funny enough, for the Jaeger thing. I, we ended up doing something different for. But I was supposed to be out there for two weeks, just eating yeah. and exploring, doing my thing. Crazy. All right, so I'm pulling off my sweet potato kale. What I'm gonna do is uh, warm up my tortillas. You could probably, I mean, however you want to eat them. Sometimes, like, throw them in my microwave for 15 seconds. I'm just gonna put them on the uh, just, just enough to get them going. Okay, I'm gonna put them on the stove right here. Oh yeah, good call. All right. Okay. There. Yeah. So we have not met IRL. But there you go. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep the tortillas just like 15 seconds on each side. Yeah, yeah. Just, just get them. Nice and ready. Nice and warm. I actually like yeah. burnt tortillas. I'm a weirdo. Really? Yeah, or like a well, little bit make, make them the way you want to make them. Oh, nice. I also don't oh, like, so the reason why this is sometimes chaotic, chaotic is I don't rescue test. So I'm just like, we'll make it, we'll make it happen. It drives some of my friends that are more chefs insane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this looks good. Yeah, there. All right, I'm gonna get a plate. All right. All right. The other day I actually burnt my hair on the stove. This morning I was filming something and I forgot to shut off the stove and then I went back to it to, so basically what I do to film all my videos is, oh it's, my just gosh. Me, it's just me because I have, one cam and I have one camera is, I film all the process with the camera and then I reset the camera to film me and I just pretend like I'm doing it. Um, but so I went back to the stove to film something and I was just like, I talked to my hands, so I'm like blah, 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 blah. And like, I was like, why is, why is it warm? And I didn't realize I left the, I left the stove on the whole time. It's actually oh, the thing I went back to film. I never <laughs> paid attention. Thank you. All right, so, I'm gonna eat the tea. All right, check on that. So the recipe calls for a Mexican crema. Um, I couldn't find that because hard to find some stuff. So I got uh, sour cream. What's that? I didn't, I don't have it either. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. Sour cream is close enough or whatever you want. Mexican crema is like a little thinner, a little fattier. Um, but it's going to accomplish the same thing. I feel like this is a very easy recipe to make. So at home, if you guys want to try it, um, it's really just sweet potato, kale, um, garlic, avocado, and lime juice. Like it's super easy. Not a lot of ingredients, really healthy. Oh, I forgot to cut my avocado. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm I have two avocados. I don't know which one to I'm going to choose. Try to feel them. I'm going to choose this one. All right, so my sweet potato's done. Oh, amazing, okay. So you're still ahead of me. Let me, let me cut my avocado and then we'll start to assemble. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go pretty thin on this. Are you gonna go sweet potato first on the corn tortilla? Mine's already mixed in, so it doesn't matter. Um, for you, like, no, maybe maybe like lettuce first and then sweet potato. Like let's see the color. Got it. Cool. Round avos have smaller pits. Oh, interesting. This pit looks gigantic though. 
Oh, nice. That's a nice one. Okay, so this is, I cook the tortilla on just the stove top just a little bit, like 15 okay. seconds on each side. Okay. So it looks like that. And now I'm just gonna take this sweet potato. So, yeah. All right, I'm taking the sweet potato and just um, putting it on the lettuce. And yeah, put it on however what you want. However, however hungry you are. What's nice is sometimes I do these videos or making stuff that like, I can't really eat for dinner. So I taste it and then go and like make real food. Uh, but this is good. I get to like actually eat this tonight. All right, this looks really, really good. I uh, hope I can show y'all. Let me come up close. Let me see yours. Oh, beautiful. Oh wait, I forgot the sour cream. Wait, let me add a little sour cream. And then I will present mine. It's like chopped, you know, you gotta talk. It's like presentation, technique, and flavor. Right. <laughs> okay, so, got the lettuce, sweet potato. I'm gonna put sour cream on it. Mm -hmm. Maybe some salsa. Oh, salsa's yeah, good. I got them. Raw onions. Raw onions on top of those are so bomb. I, I actually am a fan of raw onions, so I'm not against that at all. Some people hate it. Love them. Um, but also, sour cream addict, I'm obsessed. Here, here's mine. Oh, wow. That's good. Okay, wait, I didn't add the avocado yet. <laughs> all right, add the avocado. And maybe I'm gonna taste, ooh, you know what I have to? I think more than, maybe some hot sauce. I'm gonna taste it first, see how I like it, then adjust. I have hot sauce, that'll be good. I also have a bunch of different salsas. I just did a, uh, okay. I did a Tostitos actually. So I have salsa verde salsa. That could be good, Ooh. that looks good. Yeah. That, there it is, there it is. <laughs> that was <weird> too. <laughs> See, this was easy. What did we cook? It took us 20 minutes to cook dinner. So easy. Not even. So easy. That's the kind of cooking I like. All right, shall we taste and see how we did? I'll wait for you. Wait, let me take a, well, actually, wait, I forgot. Let me get a photo before I do anything. Okay. So I don't forget. Let's see here. Should I wait for you to try it? Uh, yes. Wait. I'm so hungry. All right. <laughs> this off. All right, I'm ready. Wait for this. Taste. Am I the only one in the entire world who can eat an avocado plain, like literally from an avocado? Mmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do not put. Sorry, sorry. That's good. Mm hmm. I like it's cheese, though. I would say. It's really good I almost like your idea of the onions, just add a little bit more texture. Yeah. I'm definitely going to add hot sauce. I just want a little heat. Um, wait, with your avocado, do you put like. Salt and pepper, or you just eat it straight? Um, I do everything bagel seasoning. Ooh, okay, I like that. It's so good. My bagel order is egg everything bagel. Fantastic. Uh, lox, scallion cream cheese, and avocado. It's My world was only opened up to putting an avocado on a bagel a few I know, years right? ago. I it was I'm nice. so jealous of you. In New York City, you have so many good bagel places. I still cannot find one good bagel place in LA. Um, <laughs> sorry. Kale is hard to chew on camera. Um, I agree. I have been trying to find good bagels in LA because I go out there a lot. And that's the one food I've yet to. Yeah. I mean, any routes on New York is hard. LA is amazing, everything. I love the food scene in LA. Um, yeah. But uh, bagels are, I want to try uh, Yeasty Boys. Have you had that? Mm, I've heard of it. Their like sandwiches themselves look really interesting. I want to see if their bagels could like come close. I wouldn't expect them to be New York City bagels, but maybe they could come close. I've heard of it. I've heard it's really good. 
By the way, if y'all are just tuning in, we made sweet potato and kale tacos. So vegetarian tacos are super healthy, really easy to make. It only took us like 15 minutes. And yeah, happy yes. Taco Tuesday. And this video will be at some point uh, on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok. She'll be able to hang out with us and make it again. The recipe is Bon Appetit. I put a link in stories also, if you just want to find the recipe there. Yeah, also, where are your, um, where are your favorite tacos in LA? Oh man, there's a, <laughs> okay, so I love good food, but I gotta be honest, I don't go out with my friends that much, like for restaurants, like we kind of like go out to dinners for like happy hour and stuff. So I always just go to this restaurant called Pink Taco. Um, <laughs> it's not even like that extraordinary, but um, yeah, we go there for the good margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really think about, I for, it sounds kind of crazy. I'm like, what restaurants did I used to go to in LA? I'm like trying to think, but yeah. yeah. I did, I, fil I'm, I filmed two taco crawls in LA. I'm just the worst of names. But if you guys want to know where I went, just because I'm a dummy, DM me and I'll remind you. Or if you go to YouTube and just type in LA Tacos Brunch Boys, there'll be two videos. And we went to like some like down and dirty places. So we went to literally someone's house. So like, <laughs> you just like walk in in the kitchen and like their boilers or whatever, like making tacos. Awesome. It, was, it was great. That's like, awesome. The Mexican food scene in, in New York, like I definitely have a few favorite spots. I found like a few hidden gems, like out in Queens and stuff. But I think that just like high end Mexicans really good in New York. Mm -hmm. There's some like a couple of hidden gems, but just like nothing close to LA, which makes sense. Like LA is obviously so much closer to Mexico. You get more than, you know. Yeah. No. There is a lot of authentic taco places um, near my college, USC. So I had like the best tacos in college, but I forget. There are a lot of them were taco trucks too. Right. Well, I forget it. My job is to remember where I went and and eat and I True. forget everything. Like, thank God for Instagram because I just, I, just, I wouldn't remember. I everything I eat is documented. Yeah, so I can always go back and say, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I eat that. Yeah, and on locations on Instagram. I mean, I just finished this whole, this, I mean, it was only one taco, but it's that good. <laughs> I don't really eat stuff that I don't like, so this is really good, y'all. Um, oh, that's good. I like the hot sauce though. Yeah. Yum. Well, thank you. Thank you, Katie. Let's see. If you guys have any last questions, let us know and stick around. I know, Katie, you're working out in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do work a live workout class right now. But I'm going to. Otherwise, I would be drinking tequila already. <laughs> no doubt. That's one thing I miss a little bit. I decided, you know, I don't drink a lot at home anyway. So I was like, well, I still will, I don't believe in cutting stuff out completely, but like maybe I'll drink less. So I haven't really drank that much. And I, like my drink it's is at least, at least once a week in New York, I would go out and have a dozen tequilas. Yeah, <laughs> I need to be on your level right now. <laughs> um, all right, well, that's it. Thank you. No, thank you. This was awesome. Thank you, thank you. And if you guys want to try this recipe, it'll be up on Brunch Boys, right? It'll be up at some point, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you guys for donating three donations. Oh, That's yes. amazing. Thank you guys for that, too. The tequila is life. That is the best way to end it. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Taco I Tuesday. Agree. I agree. And Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.